Before we get into the trailer for Bel Air, don't forget to like, follow, share, subscribe, and hit the bell to get all notifications, whether you're on Google Podcasts, Listen Notes, The Podcast Index, Stitcher, and more. And if you want to help out the show, please give us a five-star review on whatever platform you can, and follow our social media pages that are in the description. Before we review the new Scream film, a trailer was released for Bel Air, which is essentially a dramatic retelling of the classic sitcom, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I'm going to be honest, when I first heard about this, Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why this had to be made. And I'm still there now, even after watching this trailer. But even though I'm not sure why this had to be made, I'm going to be honest, this could just be them giving us a really good trailer. But I'm really pissed that I don't have Peacock, because this honestly (laughs) looks really good. I'm, I was really surprised. I actually watched this a couple of times. I'm like, holy shit. And again, I like how, like, again, when you do, like, a dramatic retelling, right? Mm-hmm. Again, like, them doing this is definitely a sign that the industry is running out of ideas, right? They're running out of original ideas. There's, there's no way you can dance around that point when talking about this. That being said, okay, you're not going to get something original. How do you go about redoing this story that's already been done sometimes even with just yeah. that you can create something special out of that too and one thing i like so far on the drama end of things i like how it's not filmed in like a stereotypical tv studio like in the original show like it definitely mm-hmm. has an opportunity to feel very different than the original show so at least by them making that step and making that decision i feel like they have the potential to do something special with this yeah i think so too even though i'm not too excited for it, right? Because I think Bel Air is very special in a lot of people's hearts. Um, but I do think it's a good thing that Will Smith is attached to it. So he knows yes. his character. He knows this world. He knows, you know, even how to do the dramatic aspects, I guess, to a certain extent. Um, I find it interesting. Just it's, it's, it's odd for me, at least, because Will Smith's not his character. So it's like, ugh. Mm-hmm. I, I hope this actor really lives up to what... I mean, Will Smith is an icon. This was is a big breakthrough even for him. So it's kind of like mm-hmm. the actor has big, sh- really big shoes to fill in, unfortunately. Um, but I'm interested to see where this goes. I know my dad's pretty excited. He loves Prince, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and he saw the trailer, and he was like, yes, this is move peace tonight. <laughs> but, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, it's like I wasn't completely sold, but I did find it interesting and intriguing to the point where it's like you know i do really want to see this just to see where they go and i remember years ago morgan cooper i believe he was he is the uh, executive producer and also director he even pitched this to will smith i believe and will smith was sold on it um because he did a sort of fan trailer in a sense years years ago before and Will Smith liked really? it, enjoyed it, and that's kind of how that was really the origin of how this officially began. So I'm really, I'm really happy to see him step up to be the director, executive producer for a show like this because I know he's done a lot of commercial work before. Um, so I'm really excited to see really his journey as well as a director and and writer. So I'm really happy with that too. But again. Bel Air, unexpected, but mm-hmm. I'm intrigued. Same. So that's mm-hmm. that's really what it I, is for me. I'm just looking forward to seeing exactly how they go about taking things in certain different directions. Like, mm-hmm. I want to see what they do to make the characters different from the original show. Like, from what I've seen so far, again, from the trailer, Carlton, you know, he's still, still got the height difference between him and Will, <laughs> but he definitely seems much less awkward. He seems smoother. And at the same mm-hmm. time, his ego definitely seems to be bumped up a bit too. So I'm like, oh, that's interesting. There doesn't seem to be so much different about, you know, Ashley or Hillary um, or Aunt Viv or even, or even Will. Like, here's the thing. Will is always going to look different in this show as opposed to the original, right? Because the original show, like, you know, Will is, again, synonymous with Will Smith. So I think mm-hmm. just by Will Smith not being the character in the new show, it's just automatically going to feel different. But I want to see exactly what they do to make him different character-wise as opposed to just, like, portrayal-wise too. But, and I really want to see what they do with Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil, you can't convince me otherwise. Uncle Phil was the best character in the original <laughs> show. I've said multiple, multiple times, if everybody had father figures that resemble Uncle Phil, 
Uncle Iroh from Avatar The Last Airbender <laughs> and Red Foreman from that 70s show, the world would be a much better place. <laughs> I, I, and I still believe that to this day. And now, I, again, I want to see how this new actor does, even though, again, he, he has big shoes to fill, too. Because no mm-hmm. one, in my mind, again, maybe I'm wrong, no one can replace James Avery as the original Uncle Phil. You just can't do that. Yeah, so it's it's going to be interesting to s- finally see this because this has been really in development for a long time. So and that now mm-hmm. that's finally come that is we're going to be put out to the public. It's going to be interesting. I'm intrigued and interested, not excited, but I'm interested enough to want to see it actually. So and I hope it's good. That's yeah. the thing. I really hope it's good. I really hope this is a well thought out story, a well thought out script, season, and etc. Because if it's not, that's going to be a big stain, and I think this mm-hmm. series and franchise, and maybe Will Smith to a certain extent. We'll we'll see. So yeah, yeah, again, you know, I'm from what we've seen so far. I'm fairly confident. I'm looking forward to seeing how they use the drama to elevate heavier. <laughs> moments because again like you know the show the, the original show had some heavier moments but again it still was more of a sitcom again now mm-hmm. they have a drama they have more room for those again those heavy emotional moments this looks very polished looks very tense and here's the thing i want to say that i'm excited for this because i honestly would love to watch this but i don't have peacock so i don't <laughs> understand like what the point in me getting super excited about this is so again for for the <laughs> lucky ones out there that do have peacock this show premieres on february 13th and again for those of you that have actually seen the trailer what are your thoughts on all this? Like, again, do you think that the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, like, should actually be rebooted? Do you like how they seem to be going into more a more dramatic direction as a way to differentiate it from the original show? Do you have any confidence mm-hmm. in this whatsoever? Leave your thoughts in the comments section.